If you've ever taken a calculus class, you've seen the symbol d over dx, but what does it actually mean? This is something I didn't know for a long time, and I wish I knew a lot earlier. To find the answer, we'll have to go back to junior high. From junior high math, we know that the equation for a line is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope. We use rise over run, saying m equals delta y over delta x. This is fine for finding the slope of a straight line, but this technique breaks down easily under more complicated situations. Say we have the line y equals x squared plus 1. If we try the same method, it doesn't work. There's no straight line on this curve. So what do we do? We have to modify it. And instead of using finitely long segments called delta x, delta y, we'll use infinitely small segments called dx, dy. This way, we can say that the slope is dy over dx instead of delta y, delta x. Now, we can say that m equals dy over dx, but we already know what y is. It was in the equation. So we say m equals d dx times x squared plus 1. This is our answer. d dx means the slope of some curve, but it's generalized for any, any slope, for any equation, not just for a straight line. Now, delta y over delta x is analogous to saying dy over dx or d over dx times f of x. Ignore the fact that I forgot a parenthesis there. In fact, there's a lot of different ways that you can represent this change. Capital delta, lowercase delta, lowercase d, del, and nabla all mean a certain difference. This is the essence of differential calculus, and they all mean some sort of change, or in this case, a change in slope. And Nabla should be a vector, but that's a story for another time.